welcome back. I'm doing Kill Team Elites this time, since it's been a while and I might as well have some Elites. And I'm doing the mission, Escalating Conflict, so I'm just gonna roll right into it. <clears throat> blah, blah, blah. Oh, right, the teams have to actually split up by point value, but first I want to see... Which side can take which side? Alright, so the <clears throat> Astro Militarum can choose their deployment zone, which, let's see here, will be opposite corners. <clears throat> Militarum will actually take that side because I'll give them more cover and they might be able to help kill some things out here. All right, point value. Half of point value, that's just fun. Now let's see here. is him and him. All right, that's as close to half as they're gonna get. All right. So time to start doing some deployment because deployment zones have been chosen and I guess Space Marines will deploy first. Oh wow, okay. It's just four inches from this bet edge, but this edge they can be on, so... Four inches from this edge. <clears throat> Intercessors are just gonna go for it. Because there's the primary objective, and when they get it, it's at the end of one of the turns, they win. Harm, they would have to be like on the container actually. <clears throat> so this guy's gonna be like this. <laughs> He's gonna have some views. This guy's already got some view there. I can actually put the melted gun right here. So you might be able to get around and hit some things. <clears throat> Plasma knows it needs to be also in some kind of cover. So we'll do that. <clears throat> so reserves. Reserves. <clears throat> All right. Sniper is going to go with the comms up the side to kind of flank them. You know what? He'll go here, and these guys will go here because they will go. They'll just put bodies in, in the way. And Sergeant doesn't really want to get into the heat of that just yet. So they're all deployed. Let me check. How's the camera look? Looks good enough to me. Alright, each team has two command points. It is now <clears throat> round one. And reserves, they'll be coming in. Yeah, I'm double checking reserves because I need to see how 
Since I know they could spend points to deep strike some of these in, <clears throat> like the Terminator and the Skissium, the others have to walk on. And I can't remember if it's any board edge or a particular board edge. Okay, these are definitely the rules part. It's not, okay, reserves. Oh, they have to still spend a command point, I think. No, no, I can set up a... Does that have any models from reserves? Blah, 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 or at the end? Okay, I'm set up the buff at the end of any movement phase. So it doesn't say that they... So they can come in at the end of turn one. Must be wholly within your deployment zone. Okay, so they just have to come in by deployment zone. And then if I use outflank command point, they can come in from any board edge. Okay, <clears throat> otherwise they'll come in to point them. Good, no, now let's get the show on the road. Nine, six, so. Military arms got the initiative. These guys are gonna move up. Put bodies in the way so that way he can't just immediately shoot the sniper or the plasma guy. Okay, Melta Gun's gonna go here for now. So next turn he can come out. Well. Let's say he actually. Now, if he advances, it's gonna still be the minus one to shoot, it's actually gonna suck. And then one, four, and then scooch. And then I can still give orders from here. All right. It's not the end of the movement phase because technically these guys can go. All right. Um, he readies. Um, <clears throat> this plasma will ready up. He actually wants to see if he can get out of the way of the plasma shot. Ooh, he should be a five inch move, shouldn't he? <clears throat> I'm looking at Guardsman, that's totally not him. Oh, come on. Space Moen, yep, five. He's a Terminator, he's a big ass Termi. <clears throat> he got out of sight of the sniper, and now he can light those up. And I think he's out of... He's gonna be a long range if this guy decides to shoot at him. <clears throat> so the guardsman might have to focus on everyone else. Now what's he gonna do? He's actually gonna declare charge on all three guardsmen. Um, well, each guy technically could put him out of action, so... This model will fire Overwatch and get a hit. Still five to wound though. Oh my god, he got a wound. Okay, he made his armor safe. That would have been kind of ridiculous. Now the next guy fires Overwatch. Okay, and that's a little bit more expected. This guy fires Overwatch. Let me like roll over here where I stop put pushing things. Still got a hit. Does he wound? Nope. All right, his charge distance. Okay, maybe I will roll. Jeez, this terrain is just everywhere. Hmm, nine inches, I wonder if he got it. He didn't even need, that six got more than enough. Boom. Um, actually, is he within one inch? Yeah, he's within one inch of everyone else. So he's, he tied up all three into melee. <clears throat> and that gives very few shots to everyone else. Now, let's check something real quick. How much 
how many points, command points is it to deep strike a Terminator? Terminator, teleport strike. Okay, yep, it's one command point for each thing. So, Skissians have, they have to wonder, do they want to drop a Skissian in? Yeah, they'll, sp they'll spend one command point. Drop a skissy in right here. My hair is like right in the way. So, yeah, he's more than five inches away. He's got the double tap and he's got a clean line of sight on that guy. <clears throat> and Space Marines, I gotta spend a command point and teleport the guy right here. Actually, here, <laughs> because back <laughs> there's a plasma right there. <clears throat> Make sure his feet are blocked. <laughs> so let's both spend one command point. End of movement phase. We go on to shooting phase. Ready models go first, starting with team <clears throat> no, guardsmen. This plasma, uh, he doesn't really want to shoot at that guy. He's not necessarily the worthy target. Oh, orders. Actually, he's going to give the order to this guy. Fix bayonet. So the guy... Right? No. Yeah, I mean, this guy didn't move, so he gets to reroll ones. This one's a sniper, he gets to reroll ones. This guy doesn't even have a target, no. So there's no orders to give to this model. <clears throat> so yeah, he's just gonna give this one fixed bayonet. It fights as if it's the fight phase, which is not the pylon. Anyway, he'll, he'll give it to this guy, who clearly can fight. So, he'll do his one attack. He hits. Doesn't wound. All right, back to figuring out who's gonna shoot. Yeah, he's not, this guy's not even within range, so he is gonna fire into this guy. He's gonna <clears throat> overcharge and fire two shots. The guy's obscured, so fives to hit. <clears throat> Reroll ones because he's Cadian and didn't move. No hits. <clears throat> this guy. Overcharging. Firing one shot into the sniper, one shot into the comms. Um, box, so obscured. Yes, yay, they're like perfect obscure things. So four to hit, he's a sniper, so reroll ones. Two, um, they are salamanders, so they will use their one reroll on a failed rune hit roll, which a one and a two fits that, so he will reroll and get his hit. Two to wound, he gets the wound, AP minus three, Skissian has four up armor, so it goes right on through, damage two, five, he killed a model. <clears throat> And then the other shot that is going to hit her, um, he's a sniper, so he gets three roll ones, two, failed. <clears throat> so he didn't hit the other one. Now we go into everyone else shooting. <clears throat> this Skissian into the, into the sniper's back. Threes to hit. Both hit. And now, fives to wound. No wounds. <clears throat> ah, water. <clears throat> All right, let's see here. It is clearly obscured, and it's long range. 
But assault cannon is still six goddamn shots, isn't it? Yep, it's six. <clears throat> Just shows how often I use some of these weapons. Not that often. So six shots, <clears throat> obscured, long range, so fast to hit. He got one hit. Two to wound. Fit wounds. <clears throat> AP minus one. The guy's got a five up armor, so he's got a six up armor save. Woohoo! Obviously, he failed. <clears throat> Damage one. Injury roll. They have a command point. They'll spend it now because they have others later. Means they were hoping for a better result. Like that. Out of action. Alright, they've already killed two models. <clears throat> I mean, again, kind of what what they've expected. And now we move on to charge models. So he's charged. He's going to put one attack on each guardsman. So he's going to... Oh, wait. I still... These two haven't shot. Wow, I'm just immediately jumping to shooting without... Into fighting without... Having everyone who can shoot, shoot. She could take her long range shot at that model. Obscured long range. And well, I should double check the obscured. That side angle might. Nope, that box still gets it. So, five to hit. Doesn't hit. And. His pistol shot. Is just barely made the non long range shot. So it's just obscure. So, five to hit. Hits. Five to wound. Yeah, I didn't expect it to wound. <clears throat> okay, now I can move on to five. So, punch on each guardsman. Punch on this guy. Missed. Uh, it's a new phase. You'll spend his um, salamander reroll. Gets a hit. Three to wound. Uh, Salamander reroll, so three to wound. Hey, he got a wound. Guardsman's got five up armor. Hey, look at that, he made it. Now the hit on the guy in the center. Hits. Wounds. Saved. I <laughs> got this guy. Hit. Wound. If, you get, if I make another five up armor. All right, I failed one. Um, they have command points, they'll spend it and just, you know, see if they miraculously save it. Nope. Finally, an injury roll. They have no more command points, so he just puts an injury on this guy. So now they pile in. I also think they technically have more models on the objective than Space Marines, so they're actually holding the objective. <laughs> <clears throat> So this guy's going to punch. Actually, I could do them together because reasons. Um, so they need fours to hit. Both hit. Fives to wound. One wound. He gets his three up armor. He makes it. Now the guy's injured. He has five to hit. Doesn't hit. Morale. Guardsman had how many models in total? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So they're not close, and Space Marines don't have any injuries on them. All right, so this guy has would have to take a morale check. Uh, there are two guys next to him, which means he would classify as a, even if he rolled a six, it would be a six, which is still a pass. So there's no need to roll. In fact, I could just. Keep on going. And now it's command points go up by two for each side. And it becomes round two. Oh, that's a horrible initiative roll. And yep, that's much better. So initiative goes Space Marines this time.
Plasma's gonna ready up. I think he's just gonna start walking towards the objective because why not? And this one's gonna declare charge on the um, sergeant. Sergeant gets his pistol overwatch. And he obviously missed. How much charge? Five inches? I think that's an. Oh, right. If he has a six inch pistol, five inches puts him just right there. Technically within. So now. Guardsmen go. Ready. Melta comes out and is ready to do some firing. And now we can think about command points. We're not spending them. Yeah, they have to be one inch from a board edge if they don't spend any command points, so... Oh! They have to be within deployment zone, which... There. He's in. It's good see him a little bit, so he can move a little bit further. There. He just walked in. And the Ogrens are walking in because, actually, let's do this guy right here since he can't be seen. And they're going to walk in since they can just pile in on that Terminator and maybe help kill it. <clears throat> Alright. Shooting phase. Plasma first. Well, I guess what I'm going to say is he's going to ready up. Oh. Now I think about it. So he rated up. These guys could actually f spread out and cause problems. And I didn't, well, I guess I'll ready up this model. I really didn't think about their movement as much as I should have. Doing some falling back. Just because bodies. <clears throat> All right, and now orders happen at the big top of turn, so he's going to give this one the ability to shoot, even though it fell back. So I'll put like some dice to be like, this one will be able to shoot once we finally get to the unrated models. So now we go back to the plasma. Now the plasma is going when I have more targets. But Plasma's just going to shoot into the um, Meltagun because that's the biggest threat on the table right now. Uh, overcharging, threes, no, fours to hit because the guy's obscured. One hit, two to wound. It wounds, it goes through, so damage two. Hey, look at that. Plasma kills someone. It's kind of to be expected now. He's firing, right into the sniper's back. Gonna try, threes to hit, ooh. He's ready, he's gonna shoot into the guy who's ready up. I mean, who can shoot this turn. Threes to hit, because the guy's out in the open for him, both hit, threes to wound, one wound. Bolt rifle, so AP minus one, six up armor save. Uh, I'm gonna say cocked because it's on top of a model. Still, it managed to fail. Uh, damage, I have an injury roll. One, they have command points, so let's re roll that and get an out of action. This model will fire into the Terminator because I'm pretty sure she 
Yep. Now, the real question is, are those red boxes in the way? Nope. So it's an out in the open shot. Three's dead. One hit. Five to wound. We'll spend a command point because they really need this to actually wound. Ugh, and they'll fail to wound. <clears throat> oh, man, they are not doing well. <clears throat> Unrated models. Yeah, Terminator can actually see underneath the stuff and see this guy, so he's just gonna fire into that model. Obscured, but not long range, so. And he's the heavy specialist, so he can move and fire his heavy weapon with no penalty. There we go, he's just gonna shoot a fuck ton of shots. All that guy. Four is to hit. Yeah, <clears throat> not gonna spend their reroll. And two's to wound. So four wounds on that guy at AP minus one. So four, six up saves. Hey, he made one. They failed three of them. Either way, one dies for injury because damage one. Now you're going to spend a command point because that's kind of disappointing to have it just be an engine. Okay, just a flesh wound. The guy gets hit by a massive cannon and is just like, whatever. These guys still box and they still can't shoot. These guys can shoot, but their target is mostly melee. Oh, well, what's the range on that ripper gun? Probably not that long, far. Yep, it's a 12-inch range. Well, he's got range. Can he hit, though? Long range and obscured is sixes to hit. It's three shots. It's worth trying, so he will fire. Look, he got a hit. <clears throat> and it's strength five, right? Yeah, so it's threes to wound. Look at that, he got a wound. The guy gets his normal armor save. They don't have any more command points, so he actually takes that wound. So He has two wounds, so he's got one wound left before an injury roll. Wow, you did something there, buddy. You did something. You can't see shit, but also this guy fires next, which he'll fire... <clears throat> oh god, does it really matter? He sees this guy a little bit better. Wait, is that even not obscured? Uh, let me check. This guy's not obscured to him. It's just a missile to the face. <clears throat> Well, the missile's not a heavy specialist, so he'll take the penalty for moving and shooting. But it's still a four to hit. So crack missile, four to hit. Oh, look at that, it hits. Strength eight, so two to wound. Oh, look at that, it wounds. AP minus two. The guy has five up armor, so it goes through. What's the damage? Damage two. Let's roll that damage. Guy has an injury, so that becomes a four. So that's a dead model. Uh, guardsmen are probably gonna break. Uh, charged models in melee. That Terminator, he is the combat specialist, so he's gonna have quite a few attacks on him. But he's got the hammer, so it'll be slower. Haven't used a hammer in a while. So he's got three attacks with the um, expert fighter. Four is to hit because he's got a thunder hammer. <clears throat> no, new, new phase. So he's actually going to reroll one of these as the salamander ability. And get the exact same result. So one hit. Strength eight, so two to wound. It wounds. It's AP minus three, so it goes right on through. And it's damage three. 
They have no command points to reroll. He, this guy literally just got hit by a thunder hammer and just came out with a flesh wound. Well, <clears throat> this is the day of weirdness. And now the guy with the chain sword punches back with three attacks. Four is to hit. No, 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 five is to hit because he's got an injury on him. But either way, two hits, five to wound. <laughs> he got a wound. He's got his two up armor. They they have no command points to reroll. He he takes an injury. <clears throat> this is the most badass sergeant ever. It's a shame he's probably not gonna live long enough. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> They're probably gonna be taking a break test now. Think about it. <clears throat> These we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And there are <clears throat> five dead, two injured, that's seven, that's way more than half. Six, they passed their break test. They'll spend a command point to make the sergeant automatically pass his break test. Now let's do this poor guy. Cool automatically passes break test with a one. Wow! I mean, nerve check, not break test. But either way, they are still in the fight to the end. Space Marines just have normal wounds, not injuries. But they're getting it. They're doing something. Turn three. Uh, who got that initiative? Oh, that's an average roll. But they... Space Marines beat that average roll. Alright. <clears throat> the Intercessor's gonna charge that poor Guardsman. Our Guardsman's gonna overwatch. And he's not gonna hit. Uh, do I even need a roll? I mean, not really, because it's just... Boop. He's in. Terminator is just going to get closer to be like, yo, I'm on the objective. There's nothing you can do about that. This missile launcher is actually going to advance. Go nice, good, I'm with the objective kind of thing. Yeah, that's... He made that distance. Basically securing the objective for... Team Guardsman. No, uh, Team Space Marine. Any other ready up? I don't think there's much now that this Guardsman can do. I mean, they can ready up this, ready up this, and have some charges. So he's gonna charge. Please roll bet. Well, okay, that's good. He's gonna charge. Ooh, five inches. Oh, well, okay, he's like there. Oh, okay. Even if the, okay, if he was all the way at the edge of the board, right? Okay, five from that part of the head to that part of the head. He's still within one. Okay, yeah. No matter what, he was within one. Cool. He technically made it. So it's going to be a lot of melee this time. Um, orders. He's just going to tell this guy to fix bayonets. You know, he, we'll see if anything happens. Fives to hit. He hits. Fives to wound. He doesn't wound. All right, command points. Everyone goes up by two. All right, um... Rated models. Space Marines fire first. <clears throat> he says he's going to finally kill that comms model, which he tried to kill a long time ago. Overcharged. Um, I'm pretty sure obscured. I'm not going to really check because there's just too much junk in my way to see. But 
I'm gonna assume this red box is enough. Because it usually is. So four is to hit. Reroll ones. Oh, one hit. Two to wound. Yep, hits through. Damage two. Um, the guy is obscured, so she's obscured, which would cause it to be a injury, but they're gonna spend a command point to re-roll that. So that way they can get that out of action result. Uh, <clears throat> all right, he would have readied up just in, just in the, f f f just an attempt. But he's gonna fire next, right into that sniper's butt. Still three's to hit. Both hit, five's to wound. Oh, he finally got a wound. AP minus two, so five up save. Failed. Injury roll. Out in the open, so hey look! They actually killed a space marine. Finally. Pretty bad time to celebrate a victory though. So he's gonna fire his pistol into um, this Terminator, five to hit. He hits, five to wound, fails to wound, as obvious. <clears throat> now we're, well, now we go on to unraid models. Okay, he can see that guy. Pretty sure he has some kind, ooh, he's got the good range. So four is to hit, six shots. Wow. He could actually use the Salamander's ability to reroll this one, but not all those threes. Well, that was a lot of threes. It would have been great if it was not kill team. Um, still twos to wound because Salamander's. He's got the ability to reroll one of those. All right, Snake Eyes. <clears throat> he did nothing. That was a lot of whiff. All righty. Time to look at some ogrins because I haven't used them that much. We'll start with the bonehead, who's gets one extra attack for the charge, one extra attack because he's a combat specialist. So we're at a total of six attacks. Right? Yes. Cool, so six attacks, threes to hit, because he's actually pretty damn good. So, all those hit. That's strength five, so threes to wound. Those, all three of those wound. They're AP minus one, so three, three up saves for this Terminator. Which he makes. Now the other Ogren. <clears throat> he's not a bonehead, so he's only got how many attacks? Well, he still gets plus one from the charge, so he's got four in total. Still threes to hit, right? Right. Yes, still threes to hit. <clears throat> so three hits, threes to wound. So two more. Three up saves for this Terminator. He makes them. <clears throat> so the Terminator gets to punch back. Because, yes, base marines go first and because they have initiative. Oh, wait. He's a charged model. He, he gets to punch now. Forgot about him. He still has three attacks. He's putting them all in that one guardsman. It's a new phase, but he's gonna hold off on that because he's gonna allow that guy to have rerolls. And he put two injuries on that guardsman anyway. And that guardsman failed them both, so. Injury roll. Okay, he killed the guardsman with his fist. Now, hammer time. <clears throat> we'll do the hammer. He's gonna put one attack on every single model. So. One attack on the um, <clears throat> sergeant. It's gonna be four to hit. Um, he's not gonna reroll that. 
Now the attack on the bonehead, four to hit. Hits. Um, the Ogrins are high toughness, but they're toughness five, so it's three to wound, not two to wound. And so he wounds, AP minus three, so it goes through. Damage three, though. Actually, right, um, Ogrins have three wounds, so because it's D3, damage three, he actually lost all of his wounds. So yes, we do roll that, and he really does just poof that guy. Oh yeah, since he would have piled him. But, so the attack on this guy, <clears throat> um, four to hit, hits, um, three to wound, it wounds, goes on through, damage three, out of action. Jesus. And the other crazy part is I could have actually spent the reroll to hit that guy and probably would have killed him as well. He might have literally just swung the hammer and spiral and killed everything. Um, <clears throat> funny enough, they still have people on the field. And because this guy's not injured, they didn't automatically break. So they have to roll for a break test. And they fail. And at the end of a phase, if one team has a broken team and the other doesn't, they automatically lose. Uh, so Team Guardsmen automatically lost. Um, maybe if they had thrown in and done their plasma spam that they can do, they might have survived longer. But otherwise, they did pretty decently. They, they did their best. So that's the end of that game. Have a fabulous day, everybody.